David from Denver. Hey, hey, welcome to the show, David. Hi, guys. Um, you know what? Through the spirit is actually gentleness, so I kind of appreciate that. Oh, David, I'm <laughs> so glad that you are the call we picked Look up at for this that. guy. Did you hear that, John? He appreciates hey, it. I said, I told you, I love it. He appreciates it. We talk a lot about a lot of stressful stuff on this show, John. I, a little I gentleness doesn't hurt anyone. I love it. All right, David, how can we help? Um, so I was in a relation. I was in a marriage for ten years, and then uh, my wife left. And it's kind of crazy. In my in my grief, I rushed into another relationship. Um, my new girlfriend is pregnant, um, and we're trying to figure out the best way to merge families now. Um, I was on my way to getting out of debt. Um, um, I was paying off, and I was doing a lot of things now. But now, um, with the choice of um joining the families and everything that's going on i just want to know what's best to prepare um because she lives in york and i actually live here in denver colorado so oh. um how's that okay what okay, do y'all so, so, what, so, so. what do y'all think are y'all gonna get married or are you like eh, no not that but we're gonna have the yeah the kid I, or what's yeah the... i do um no i do want to like Okay, hold on real quick, um, David. David, you're using a lot of cryptic yeah. language and kind of bouncing around. Kind of, like everybody's grown up here. Just like shoot it straight. Like you live in this town, you live in this town. Your girlfriend's um, pregnant, and now y'all are thinking about what? What comes next? Um, yeah, we're we're gonna merge our family. What does that mean? Um, what does a, that mean? A... That you merge companies. What are you doing with your families? You're getting married. Yeah, we want to get married. Okay, and um, you know. Be uh, be a family, just one family. Okay. So, All right. so is she coming to Denver? Or are you going to go to New York? Um, I really want her to come to Denver. Um, my, you know, my daughter. I have a daughter too, so she's here, and um, but she has her her doubts. Um, she lives. Uh, she she wants me to come to New York. The cost of living is lower in new york um but i find that um even though the cost of living is higher here in colorado they pay more you know to compensate for the inflation so um i'm the only one working she does not work um she does have savings saved up and i'm I'm actually in debt trying to get out um everything okay back there david david Okay. Uh, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I, I apologize about that. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, you're good. You're good. No okay. worries. No worries. Okay. So what, should, so what, what, what do you need help for us? You're calling the Ramsey show. What do you, are you, are you, what, what do you need? So I just want to best, um, I want some, maybe some insight on, on how to best prepare, um, for, for com- joining Combined. a family. Y- y- yeah. Brother, and- y'all aren't even close to that. You're you're not even near that right now. You, you, she she isn't. Y'all haven't even agreed to be in the same community together, in the same state together, on the same Hemet side of the of the country together. Okay. The mm. how do you combine families? That I mean, at least we got to get in the same zip code. And so if I'm you, I'm getting on a plane mm. and I'm gonna go fly down and sit in a room and have a very grown up adult conversation with somebody that I I just created a life with. Mm. And we're going to talk about what's next. We're not going to talk about savings accounts yet. We're not going to talk. We're going to talk about what's next. Mm-hmm. Who's going to Who's going to change their life? Every, well, Miss Business. Everybody's life's different now. Everybody's life's different. Mm-hmm. Is she going to move to Colorado with you? I don't care about the cost of living and how much it, inflation. Is she yeah, going to yeah. move with you so that you can be by mm-hmm. your daughter because your daughter's not going to leave this today, Colorado? Um, mm-hmm. Or are you going to pack up and leave your current daughter to go be with your new child? Right? So you see what I'm saying? Like, we have to have some very basic nuts and bolts grown-up conversations. And then we're going to get yeah. into – I, I've, I've heard nothing that she's even remotely ready to marry you or merge families with you. Um, well, she is. She is, and I'm sorry I left that out. Okay. But yeah, mo- mainly she, she is, and she um, – the the plan is to to live here, 
Um, I just have some doubts because the cost of living is cheaper over there. But I believe, you know, in terms of resources that God will provide or whatever. But um, well, it, ultimately, it, it, the plan is to move her down here. Um, yeah. Does she have other kids, do David? Does she, is she going to be leaving kids there or will she? She's not. She will not be leaving kids. Um, They're going to come with her. Their kids are not, not involved. OK. No, and how no, many she, kids does she have? I'm just curious. She has she has currently she has three. And then we're going to have a four. The four, okay. So then it'll be five of us okay. total. Um, yes, and so since you have a daughter there, um, I I I could care less what inflation is. I'm going to live in the same, as close to my daughter as I possibly can. I have a six year old. There is yeah, no I, amount of inflation yeah. that's going to take me away from my daughter. Okay, so let's mm-hmm. consider that problem solved geographically. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. now it's about you figuring out what kind of money is it going to take for you to earn to take care of this family. When it comes to the relationship yeah. side, you and your girlfriend, who's soon to be your new wife, are going to have to create something entirely new. You're not taking, you're not blending this family with this one. Y'all are making something totally new. There's going to be pieces mm-hmm. of those other families that go with you. Those three mm-hmm. kids' dad still has a, a, a vote in their life, more than likely. Uh, your ex-wife or the mother of your other child has a voice into your life. So there's going to be other people speaking into your new world, but y'all are creating Mm -hmm. something totally new. And so look at it as an opportunity to to completely clear the deck and build something beautiful and new. Okay. The more you try to, well, this is the, and and, and bring baggage from it, the more you're going to you're going to, I'm trying to think of the right way to say this. No, you, well, you've said it before to me in, in a kind of a different way of like after 9-11, when the towers, they didn't take the same metal and tried to rebuild the same towers. That's right. They, you, they, they got rid of everything yes. and bought something and, and built something new. So you're, you're building a whole new, and that has to be your mindset, which I think is We're doing something totally points. new. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for the call, David. Good luck with everything.